Good day folks, Sean here from Air Photography. So today in this video we're going to do just a simple unboxing of the new DJI Osmo 360. This is a camera I'm actually really excited about. Now this is not a review. I'm going to spend some time with it before I make a review. I'm also going to be doing a comparison against the Insta360 X5 coming up soon. But in today's video, we're just going to unbox it and check out the equipment. And uh, this is going to be a great choice for some people who've been wanting to get into 360. It comes in at a really good price, $430 for the base kit. Or you can get the Adventure Combo, which is what I have here. This is the Adventure Combo, and it comes in at $580. And that's almost getting close to the competition, the X5, just for the base camera. So it's actually a really good deal. And with it, you get some extra batteries, extension pole, and a charging hub. So yeah, I'm actually really surprised by the pricing on it. And the specs of the Osmo 360 are pretty impressive. It's 8K, does 8K 30. Has a brand new sensor, a square sensor that's 1.1 inches. And uh, yeah, so it's actually a pretty powerful camera. So here, you can see we've got a couple boxes. We have their extension pole. And DJI actually has quite a few accessories for it already. This is their standard extension pole. Uh, they have ones that are smaller, some really long ones, and they have a carbon fiber one for more extreme activities. So that is the extension pole that comes with the adventure combo. In this box here, we have the camera. Pulling it out here, it seems a little smaller. It's hard to gauge size in photos. You know, I've seen all the leaks and it looked actually kind of large but it is actually a fairly small camera. I'll uh, compare it to the X5 here in a minute so you can get a good feel and gauge the difference. Lens on that side, lens on the other side. Of course, our touch screen. We have our USB-C port there for charging. And on the other side here, we have the battery bay. And what's really interesting what they've done here is they have a new Extreme Plus battery. And with that battery, you can record for 100 minutes nonstop in 8K. And apparently this thing won't overheat. Of course we will be putting that to the test but the nice thing is is that all the batteries with their action cameras are all compatible so if you have extra batteries from your action 5 you can use them in here and vice versa you can use these batteries in your action 5 so that's actually really nice that they've done that at the bottom here we have a quarter 20 for connecting it to extension poles and ideally that's how you want it if you're filming in 360 you want it completely perpendicular with the pole but it also supports magnetic mounting and it fully supports their existing magnetic mounts, as you can see there. And they actually have a new swivel one, which I believe is in the box here, which we'll take a look at. So I am going to set that down and we'll take a look at some of the accessories. So the first thing we got here is the charging case. And all three batteries should be in there. And yes, there they are there. So all these batteries are compatible with some of their previous action cameras. The Action 5, Action 4, and I do even believe the Action 3. So that's actually a nice feature. And of course you got a nice charging case. This here is a lens guard, just to keep your lenses protected when you have this in a camera bag or you're putting it away or want to set it down. This here is a case for it. Nice little case. Inside of that we have our charging cable, USB-C to USB-C, cleaning cloth for the lenses. And here we have their new swivel magnetic mount. And of course, lastly in the box here, we have some stickers and some literature. Now this new swivel magnetic mount is really nice just for the fact that it's multi-purpose. You can use it in a couple different ways. When you're filming in 360, you want the camera to remain like that. That way the pole, the selfie stick remains invisible because it's in the stitch line. But if you're going to be using this camera for vlogging, because it fully supports single lens mode, which essentially turns it into a normal action camera, you want to be able to swivel the camera up. And the nice thing is here, there's actually a lock mechanism. So that way it will stay completely straight if you're filming in 360. If you want to swivel the camera, you press that lock button in. And now it's at a comfortable angle if you're going to use it for vlogging. And uh, this might be a great option for people who want to vlog just for the fact that it's multi-purpose. You can capture some interesting 360 footage. You can use it like a traditional action camera in single lens mode. And it fully supports Osmo Audio. So you're going to be able to connect something like your DJI Mic 2 or your Mic Mini directly to it. It actually supports connecting two mics directly to it. And that's going to give you nice clean audio as well. It also has 105 gigabytes of usable built-in storage. So if you forget to bring a memory card with you, the day's not done, you can still continue to film. 
and it supports memory cards up to one terabyte. It's waterproof to 10 meters. It can capture 120 megapixel photos and it supports 10-bit and D-Log-M. So if you're a person who likes to capture in 10-bit, do your own grading, it's gonna blend really nicely with the existing DJI ecosystem, such as their drones or other action cameras. So that's actually a really nice feature. Now at this point, I will have to connect it to the DJI Mimo app so I can activate it and update the firmware, which usually there's firmware waiting for devices like this. The other nice thing that they've done is they've released a desktop studio. So for those who wanna edit their 360 footage on a desktop computer or laptop, you're now able to do so or you can do it in the Mimo app and I'm going to be making videos about that coming up down the road once I've learned to use it. So if this is a camera you're interested in make sure you stay tuned as I will be having a full review of it and a full comparison of the Insta360 X5. I'll probably also make an accessory guide for those who want to expand the capabilities of the camera. Accessories can be important depending on how you're going to be using it. So again, keep an eye out for that. And just before I go here for those who are curious I'll just do a side-by-side -side comparison that we can see the size difference between the X5 and the DJI. Obviously the shape is different. The DJI is actually a little bit lighter. I don't actually have the weights in front of me, uh, but it's a few grams lighter actually than the X5. It's a little bit shorter, but it is a little bit wider. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to start digging into this camera, testing it out. So stay tuned for upcoming videos if this is a camera you're interested in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and found it had value. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one.